Hey guys, welcome back to Gluten-Free Habit. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Italian classic, chicken parmesan. Gluten-free, of course. To me, chicken parmesan is just one of those all-time classic perfect comfort foods. I mean, you really can't go wrong with tender chicken coated with seasoned breadcrumbs topped with Italian cheeses and spaghetti sauce. It's also really easy to put together and it reheats perfectly. It's a winner in my house every time and I hope your family loves it too. You can find the full recipe over at glutenfreehabit.com where you can also find step-by-step -step instructions and all my recipes in one place. Okay, here are the ingredients you'll need for your chicken parmesan. Some gluten-free breadcrumbs, gluten-free flour mix, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, some provolone cheese, Parmesan cheese, and you can use this stuff in the can as long as it's gluten-free, some mozzarella, milk, a couple eggs, your favorite gluten-free spaghetti sauce, boneless skinless chicken breast, and some oil for cooking. You'll also need a 9 by 13 baking dish or a little bit larger. All right, let's get a few things ready. So the first thing you want to do is after you've trimmed the chicken, you want to pound it down so that it's flat and all pieces are the same. This will make sure that your chicken cooks evenly and it will even tenderize it a little bit. So lay out a couple pieces of chicken onto some parchment paper. Lay a piece of plastic wrap over the top. And now just start pounding down the higher spots. Another way you can do this is put your chicken into a large Ziploc bag and then you can pound the chicken right on top of the bag. And you don't have to have a specific type of kitchen gadget for this. You can definitely pull out your rolling pin and just use that to pound down the chicken. So when you're done, you want the chicken pieces all to be the same width, about a quarter to a half an inch. This looks just right. And then what I like to do is cut each piece in half to make a perfect size portion. And it's funny though, now that I think about it, because I always have seconds, so maybe cutting them in half isn't necessary. I'll just leave that up to you. and then you can just set those into the fridge while we prepare some other things. So what we want to do next is prepare the breadcrumb coating and the flour coating. So set out two large bowls. What I'm using here is just cake pans and it works great because nothing spills over the side. So in one pan, you'll want to add the gluten-free breadcrumbs, the Parmesan, salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. In the other pan, add in your flour mix, salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Now stir up each pan. The breadcrumb and flour coating serve two purposes. Of course they add seasoning, but they also help to keep the chicken super moist. It's a protection that keeps the chicken from drying out. Now in a separate bowl or pan, crack your eggs. and add in a little bit of milk. Whisk that up really well. The egg dip will just make sure that the breadcrumb coating sticks to the chicken. And now we're ready to get started preparing the chicken. Start by setting out an empty plate and your chicken. And now we'll coat the chicken one piece at a time. First, dredge your chicken through the flour mixture. Then dip it in the egg. And lastly, into the breadcrumb mixture. 
I like to take a second to really press the breadcrumbs in so that nothing comes off when I'm frying. Now just repeat this process with all the chicken pieces. And here's a tip, you can bread these the day ahead of when you need them and just cover them up and put them in the fridge overnight. And then when you're ready to cook them, just set them out on your counter for about five minutes or so, 10 minutes maybe, just to take the chill off and then continue with the pan frying. And this is especially helpful if you're cooking for a large group, like for a party or a special dinner. It's just nice to have all of that part done. And then on the day of your event, all you have to do is cook it up. And now move your chicken over to your stove because we're ready to cook. Start by putting a large frying pan on over medium heat or a little bit less than medium heat and add in a few tablespoons of oil. Wait for the oil to heat up and then you can add in a few pieces of chicken. Just leave your chicken untouched for about four minutes. My skillet fits about three to four pieces, depending on the shape, but I usually have two skillets going at the same time just so I can get it done faster. Then carefully flip each piece over and cook for another four minutes. Because every stove is different, you'll wanna keep an eye on these. You just wanna make sure that your chicken isn't browning too quickly. If it is, you may wanna turn down your stove just a little bit. In the end, you want your chicken to have a nice golden brown without it being too dark. Okay, when all your chicken is done pan frying, you're ready to put it all together. Now set out your baking dish and spoon a little of your spaghetti sauce into the bottom of the pan. And you only wanna put in enough just to lightly coat the bottom of the pan because you don't want your chicken to become mushy. So just a little bit is perfect. Now lay out your chicken pieces into the pan and my pieces just barely fit into this 9x13 pan so you can definitely go with a pan that's a little bit bigger and of course it depends on the size of your chicken. And now top each piece with a little bit of spaghetti sauce. I don't cover the entire piece. I like the chicken to still have a little bit of crisp to it. Some people like to totally cover it, personal preference again, but do whatever tastes best to you. Now for this recipe, I'm using some jarred spaghetti sauce, which is gluten-free. And I do that just to save time. But if you have the time and you'd like to make your own, that's great too. And next, lay a piece of provolone over each piece of chicken. And if you like your chicken parmesan less cheesy, you can definitely do half a piece of provolone. And finally, top it with a little bit of shredded mozzarella. Okay, into the oven it goes. We're just gonna bake this at 400 degrees. And you'll wanna bake it until the cheese is melted and bubbly and the sauce is bubbling and it's just getting slightly golden brown on the top. And of course, until the chicken is fully cooked. And when it's all done, it will look and smell amazing and you will wanna eat all of it. But go ahead and share it with your family anyways. And try to see if you can save a couple pieces for tomorrow because you'll be really glad you did. I'm serving my chicken parmesan with some gluten-free spaghetti, but it also goes wonderfully with some fettuccine alfredo, and I'll put a link to that recipe at the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and click the thumbs up down below. And there you go, gluten-free chicken parmesan. I really hope you enjoy the recipe. 
And as always, I love hearing from you guys. So please leave your comments and questions or just say hello down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll do that now so that you don't miss any of the new recipes. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time on Gluten-Free Habit. Thank you.